Percussion is a technique that utilizes tapping to assess underlying structures, particularly in the thorax and abdomen. To perform correctly, place the middle finger of the non-dominant hand on the chest wall and strike the distal phalanx with the end of the middle finger with the dominant hand. Motion should come from the wrist. This diagram shows the typical movement of the diaphragm with normal breathing. As you can see, the diaphragm descends with inspiration and ascends with expiration. When percussing above the dotted line, the clinician will hear a resonant sound. And when percussing below the dotted line, the clinician will hear a dull sound. Before assessing diaphragmatic excursion, explain the procedure to the patient and gain his or her consent. To initiate the examination, drape the patient, place him or her in a seated position, and expose the patient's back. The clinician should begin by percussing at the apex of the lungs and move to the base of the lungs while the patient is breathing normally. It is important that the clinician avoid percussing over bony landmarks during this procedure. The clinician should continue to percuss until the sound changes from resonant to dull. At this point, the patient is asked to inhale and hold his or her breath and the clinician continues to percuss downward to determine the lowest point that a resonant sound is heard. The patient is then asked to exhale and hold. Next, the patient percusses upward until reaching the lowest point that a resonant sound is heard. The distance between these two lines during inspiration and expiration is the diaphragmatic excursion. With patient consent, a small mark can be made at each of these lines and a tape measure can be used to assess the amount of diaphragmatic excursion present. Normal excursion is 3 to 5 centimeters. It is important that the clinician percuss bilaterally to ensure symmetry.